I'm Sean from Cafe Works, and today we're going to be working on an instructional video here where we're hooking up one of our water pump systems to our spin jet rinser cases, uh, as well as plumbing in your espresso machine. Uh, this particular system was designed for a customer with high volume needs uh, at a busy event. So this is our two gallon accumulator to our 3.3 gallon pump system with a 110 power panel all installed in the case. This is our high volume all-in-one system. Uh, opening the box here will be some paperwork from us, some notes. Uh, we have a bag that includes your plumbing manifold as well as the rinser, uh, drain tube, and cover that in a second, and a bag that'll have your 110 split. Uh, so we'll start just off the bat with our electrical panel uh, we make here. This is the 110 panel uh, with four GFCI protected outlets, all on their own circuit breakers. Uh, so you're will, really well protected for working around a wet environment. Uh, your cable here, some customers will plug that into a generator. Uh, also supplied is the 110 splitter cable. So this is just for our 110 panel, uh, allowing you to plug in your system to the wall. Uh, the caveats being here is that we have two cords that run two different strips of your GFCI protected panel. They need to go onto two different outlets that are on two different breakers uh, at the venue you're working at. Uh, additionally, the outlets cannot be GFCI protected already. Uh, the system won't work and would cause failures. Uh, so we're just going to set these to the side as if we're running our extension cords out to do two different parts of the venue on two different outlets that are two different breakers. So starting here at our water pick pickup, we'll move on to the plumbing installation. So we're going to be using uh, jugged waters here using the Reliance Aquatainer, seven gallons. Uh, system comes with a pickup tube. Uh, previous video we have shown the installation of the cap. Walk through it here real quick. Uh, your container comes with a lid that has a spout. You're going to remove that spout, set it to the side. Your pickup tube comes with a pre-strainer. The first thing goes into the bucket, uh, filters out any big debris. You're going to and pull that off. It's just lightly installed right now, as well as removing this cap clip here. The Reliance lid slides past your check valve onto that gasket. Nice and secure. The lid clip comes back over and just kind of helps keep your lid in place when you're tightening and closing it. The pre-filter and then just snaps all the way on the bottom of your pickup tube. Drops in your tank, still going to use that pressure equalizing valve. If you can, screw that down into place. Here we have quick connects that our whole system is based off of. Uh, so the very first one that you'll be needing to use uh, is your pickup tube into your pump system. So this is what's going to draw water from your tube into the pump, and it just pushes together. The release on these real quick while we're here is you simple press to that gray button on the side, and it just pops back out. So once you have water running to your pump, uh, we're going to be looking at water runs into our accumulator here. You have a little bit of water storage, a buildup of pressure for your system. Uh, and then on your way out, we have another quick thing. This is where the bag of your plumbing manifold and rinser drain tube comes in. So plumbing manifold, this one's been custom built for a customer who's connecting a Marzocco Lini Minia as well as our pitch rinser case. Uh, here for display, we have a Rocket Apartmento, so it's actually a different fitting that'll plumb into this guy, just for reference. Yeah. A prop, if you will. Uh, so this is our plumbing manifold here. Tend to do some Velcro bits on it, just to kind of help keep it organized a bit. 
a little bit of a spaghetti. On here, we've also labeled the connections for our customer on this one. So coming out of the accumulator, this piece goes straight into the pump system. Quick connect in. That charges a whole line here that's teed off into two places. Uh, in line, we have on-off valves so we can service one part of the plumbing system uh, if we need to, uh, and for help setting up the system as well. So this system also custom uses, utilizes a pressure regulator here uh, and ends with a fitting that's intended for a marzuka, um, but on the apartmento, slightly different but your espresso machine fitting will thread onto here. Uh, tighten it down nice and firm. There we go. <laughs> and then uh, we have our connection for the Cafe Works spin jet rinser case. Uh, so continuing the quick connect situation, um, on the side of the case here is another quick connect that your rinser fitting just plugs into. This red cap covers up the drain hose connection, which is also in your red bag there. Just threads on. There's already a gasket in the bottom of there, so this needs to be finger tight, really. And this is going to run off into your drain container, your wastewater container, the same one that your espresso machine would be running to. So let's set that underneath the counter here, for example. With your whole plumbing system being installed, uh, again, you'll tighten the fitting here, uh, with the wrench on the manifold. Uh, be looking at powering both your espresso machine and the water system. Uh, you can do so through the power pump, uh, the power panel that we first talked about in the video. Uh, espresso machine can go on number one, how about? Number one is your first breaker. We'll do our pump system here. Runs on a 12 volt, so we have a small power adapter that's needed. together the parts here. Let's run a water pump system. GSCI right next to it. And of course you can unbundle these in your pump connector. Do it. It's down at the bottom of the case. Just like that. Uh, if ever there was a surge in power, you're pretty well protected in this setup. Uh, you do have a fuse down here. It's really the only service item you'd need to be getting into. Um, once again, this system is really well protected on our power panel, uh, being all GFCI and on individual breakers. So at that point, you'd flip on your main, flip on the outlets you're using. Uh, you know, you can plug your electric tamper or a grinder into your number threes there. And then you got an outlet to charge your phone, how about? And that is the general run through, setting up the system. The last thing you're gonna do once the pump kicks on, it's gonna be pulling water from the tank into the pump as well as air that's in the system. So it may be running a lot at first, so you're gonna to wanna to open up your system here. Um, this is all taped down for shipping purposes, but the actuator star is directly underneath here. You're gonna to wanna to just purge water from the system and air will bubble up. Uh, that's allowing the whole system to fill with water, to charge the accumulator full of water, release any air trapped in the accumulator from shipping. Uh, go ahead and let that off uh, once any air stops coming out of the valve. And the pump should uh, turn off once pressure has been reached in that accumulator and throughout your entire system. That's the, the main gist of it here. 
Uh, if you have any more questions, definitely reach out to us. Uh, email info at cafeworks.com. Uh, otherwise, you know where to find us, cafeworks.com. And that's your life. Free report.